So one word that may be synonymous with almost every hair tutorial you see from me is the word volume. And I'm excited to be showing you this new product by Bumble and Bumble today. This is their Thickening Go Big Treatment. You can find this at Sephora. Um, this video was created in partnership with Sephora, one of my favorite beauty stores for makeup, skincare, hair tools, hair care, you name it, they've got it. Um, fragrance, nail pot, I mean, the list could go on. Um, anyway, I've been using this product for a couple weeks now and I thought I could do a quick tutorial. I've done curling tutorials in the past, but I want to show you how you apply this to your hair wet, um, how I blow dry, and then how I just do these really easy ringlets with a T3 iron that I have. Um, so, if you want to see how I got this look, keep on watching. When you're applying a liquid volumizing spray like this one, um, go ahead and shake it up so you can make sure everything's mixed together. And then instead of just spraying like the top of your hair, make sure you lift up your hair and spray underneath in each part of it. By lifting the sections, you're getting the volumizing treatment on all of your hair, and then you can run your fingers through and kind of massage it in. By only spraying the top outside part of your hair, that's really not gonna be an effective place to apply a volumizer. You want the lift to happen kind of from the inside, so lifting your hair as you go and spraying it underneath will make it even more effective. When I want max volume, I will blow everything dry upside down, so I'll get like 70% of the water out of my hair with the blow dryer and then flip upside down and just brush the hair away from my scalp um, and blow it dry so then when I flip back up it's nice and massive like an 80s rock band. See what I mean? Then for some of the easiest curls for a really kind of casual look I will just separate my hair with my fingers to kind of establish my part I don't want like a really strong line, so that looks good to me. And then all I will do is clip off kind of the crown area. So imagine you were royalty and you were putting a crown on, kind of a halo section right around the top of your head. That is all I'm going to clip up. So I'll just rake through that with my fingers, twist it up and stick a duckbill clip in it to hold it out of the way. So this will be the last section I do with the curling iron. I have my T3 iron on just the heat setting number two. Um, so again, this is kind of for those soft, undone curls. Anything higher will give you like a really tight ringlet, but I want something really casual. And then I'll section my hair, put the curling iron in at the root, and then just slowly work it toward the ends. I've got that volumizing spray in, so the curls are gonna hold a little bit better than if I had no product in my hair, so I really don't have to spend much time leaving the hair on the barrel. As you can see, I almost didn't even close the clamp entirely so it would sit against the barrel and then I'll comb through it and you've got this nice soft wave. After the bottom section of your hair is curled, you can let down that top section. I like to brush through it. And then for the extra volume here, you'll want to put the curling iron in even a little bit closer to the root than I did on the, the bottom half of my hair. So I'll show you how I do that. Again, with my fingers, I just kind of roughly part the hair. I don't want a solid straight line in. Everything about this is supposed to just be volumized and relaxed. So you can see I'm holding the section about 90 degrees out from my scalp. Instead of holding it down here, I'm holding it up for extra volume. And I'll put this iron in right at the root and hold it there for a minute and then slowly work my way down the section of hair until I get to the ends, but I'll leave out about two inches from my ends. So see right there, 
and drop it down. So you get a curl shape here, and then I just like to comb through it. You've got this nice volumized, you can see the difference between this section and this section. And a lot of that has to do with that volumizing spray, and then the heat from your curling iron makes it even more effective. So I'll continue doing that around this top section of my hair as I work my way around to the other side, and then we'll shake it out and finish with an extra touch of even more volume, because can you really go wrong with too much volume? I mean, I know the answer to that question. I've seen the pictures of crazy volumized hair, but for me, starting with a little bit more than I actually want, about an hour into my hair being styled, it kind of chills out and settles, and that's usually the look I want for the day. So after your hair has been styled with the curling iron, I always like to add a little bit of texture with texture spray. You've got the volume in there already with that wet spray we applied before we blow dried, um, but I love Living Proof's full dry volume blast for all over volume. So I'll shake this up and then just grab my hair with wide fingers so I'm not pulling anything and I'm just raking through the curls. And just like we lifted the hair section by section to apply that wet spray, you wanna do the same when you're applying some texture spray. So after your texture spray has been applied, I like to go in underneath and just rub my hand against my scalp. And this makes sure that texture spray is nice and evenly distributed. I haven't even teased my hair and it's already got so much volume and lift. And then whatever product is left on your hands, you can kind of take right over your curls and redefine those if you've loosened them up at all in the texturizing spray process. A totally optional part here would be to tease your hair a little bit. This helps my hair kind of stay volumized but you'll notice I'm not doing it at the crown here. Um, I'm kind of going into the middle part of my hair and just raking the hair with the comb toward my scalp. So I'll do that around my whole head. And again, you could skip this part if you want to, but for my texture, it helps it kind of stay off my scalp for most of the day. So then finish your style with a little bit of hairspray and you've got these undone waves that are good for just a casual hair day. Um, but you've got volume that is going to last from the moment you styled it till the end of the night. I've been using this product for a couple weeks now and really have seen a big difference in how long my hair is volumized in the day. And I'm a big fan of volume. I would not lead you astray. I'm telling you, this product works.